Hi everyone, Haley Gant here from Quest Trust Company. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how much you can contribute to your IRA in 2021. So they have officially released the contribution limits for the new year coming up in 2021. And as you can see here, popping up on the screen, a few of them have changed. Some things to note here for these contribution limits is that the traditional and Roth IRA contribution limits did not change employer plans increased by $1,000, and the HSA contribution limits did increase just slightly this year. And last but not least, those Coverdell education savings accounts, those did stay at $2,000, so they did not change this year either. Now, when it comes to maxing out these contributions to your IRA, we definitely recommend speaking with an IRA specialist. That way we can sit down with you and really go through your personal scenario one-on-one -on -one to see which types of accounts you might qualify for and what types of contributions you can make in the new year. Another thing you do want to be aware of when you're figuring out how much you can contribute to your IRA is something called phase-out limits. Now, there are two ways that you can potentially be affected by phase-out limits, but the first way that phase-out limits might apply to you is that if you are a high-income earner, you might not be eligible to make a contribution to a Roth IRA. Now, even if you can't make a contribution to a Roth IRA, you can still make a contribution to maybe a traditional IRA and then convert those funds over, but it's definitely important to be aware of those phase-out limits there. The second way that phase-out limits might affect you is if you are looking to make contributions to a traditional IRA and you are covered on your company's 401k plan, if your income is over these limits, you might not be eligible for the tax deduction on making that contribution to a traditional IRA. Now, phase out limits, we definitely recommend consulting with a CPA or tax advisor to see if you are affected by these, but it's just something to be aware of as you are thinking of making contributions to your IRA. Now, my last point that I want to make in this video is that even once we get into January of 2021, you can actually still make your 2020 contribution up until the tax filing deadline. So if you have not gotten your 2020 contribution into your IRA yet, you still have time. You have until April 15th. So be sure to max out not only your 2021 contribution, but that 2020 contribution as well. If you have questions, be sure to reach out to us. Our IRA specialists are super easy to get a hold of. You can give us a call at 855-FUN-IRAs, or you can chat live with an IRA specialist during our business hours at questtrust.com. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that all of you watching this out there really max out those IRA contributions. Guys, you really don't want to wait to start saving for retirement. Be sure to take advantage of all of that compounding growth that you possibly can. So open an IRA, max out those contributions. And if you have questions, just let us know. If you like this video, let us know in the comments, subscribe to our channel. We post a lot of new videos every single week and we really enjoy educating all of you guys out there about self-directed IRAs and how to build tax-free wealth. So that's all I have for you. I will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.